Hey, this is Dave at HouseBarons.com. If you've seen our previous video on the Mr. Cool Universal, uh, you saw an evaluation that we did, a review of how it performed in the winter. You can go ahead and see that video right up here. Today, we're going to go ahead and show you how it performed for our first full summer. We'll, we'll show you what our original problem was, we'll show you the setup, and we'll show you how it performed summer to summer with all the numbers and all the details. Back in July of 2020, we had our uh, condenser and A coil of our old 20 year old train system die. And so we were faced with the issue of, you know, what are we going to do next? So we called a HVAC company, had them come out and give us a quote on a new, new train setup. And they were just going to give us the AC side of things because the gas furnace still worked. And so when we got that quote, it was a little bit of sticker shock. It was, it was ridiculous. And so I started doing some research about what my options were. And I was familiar with Mr. Cool. We had previously installed the uh, Mr. Cool DIY mini splits in other properties and it was, and it worked really, really well. So, so I started looking at their products as far as replacement went for my existing furnace. What I was trying to do was just replace the AC side of things because my gas furnace still worked. And so I looked on uh, the Mr. Cool website and sure enough, they had a system, uh, but it was a heat pump and I was pretty much unfamiliar with how heat pumps worked. Uh, heat pumps in general, going back in history, haven't had the best reputation as far as efficiency goes, especially in winter. As far as cooling goes, heat pumps are really great. They're very popular in you know the southern half of the United States. So I knew that would probably be a pretty good solution for us. The one thing that was attractive about Mr. Cool is that they have these pre-charged line sets. It's a little more complicated than just putting in a mini split, but I thought I had the skills to be able to do it. And with the pre-charged line set, I didn't need any special tools. So I did it as an experiment. We decided to go ahead and put in the Universal and do it myself and then see how much money we could save in the process. If you watch any of our videos before, you know that uh, we're all about trying to save money and show you how to do a job yourself and in that way save a lot of money. And this was a classic example of that because there were thousands of dollars in difference between me putting this Mr. Cool in and having an HVAC company put in a, a new train. And so uh, it was worth the risk. All right, so let me show you the setup. On this side is the Mr. Cool Universal. On this side is my old gas furnace. I was enough of a skeptic that I wasn't sure if this, this was gonna be able to, to heat in winter well as well as my gas furnace. So I left my gas furnace, which still worked, in place, and I put this side by side to it and had to, had to modify the ductwork in such a way as to be able to make this actually work. Uh, it, this was supposed to be a temporary setup because if it actually did work, then I was gonna take out my gas furnace and put this in its place. To make it work in the temporary solution, temporary situation, I had to do a few modifications, and I'll show you those. All right, on this side of the, of the room, you can see it. That's my old gas furnace. And so there you can see my the Mr. Cool Universal. Once we got the uh, air handler installed inside the house, we had just to go ahead and mount the condenser outside, connect the refrigerant lines to the condenser outside, hook up the electric, uh, both to this unit and to the condenser outside using the existing electrical connection uh, from the old setup, hook up the thermostat and turn it on and see how it would work. All right, so let's dive into the numbers here. We're looking at 2019, summer of 2019 versus summer of 2021. Because our, our system was uh, broken in the summer of 2020. First thing we're gonna look at is kilowatt usage and we'll look at uh, the, the, month, uh, the months of June, July, August, and September of 2019. And there we get a number of 4,748 kilowatt hours uh, compared to the months of June, July, August, September of 2021. And our usage there was 2,671. So right off the bat, you can see there's quite a difference between these two numbers. Actually about 44% reduction in the usage, the kilowatt hour usage. And so there you can see the efficiency of the Mr. Cool, the system that was installed here. Uh, the efficiency of that system is, has saved us 
just on usage, 44% over our old 20-year-old train HVAC system. The next thing we want to look at, we want to compare the temperatures of those months. And when you add all those up, in 2019, the total average temperature number is 290 versus 284. The season of 2021 was about 2% cooler. So that's not a big difference. The electric bill totals for these four months in 2019 $659.53 compared to those four months, which was $459.25. So the difference between 2021 versus 2019 is 31% lower. So the difference between our 31% our uh, reduction in bill versus our 44% reduction in usage means that inflation kills you a little bit there, but the reality is this is the important number, that we saved 44% uh, of use. We used 44% fewer kilowatt hours when it was only about a 2% cooler summer in comparison. So our savings was $200, which is really uh, a nice savings. We had expected that there would be some savings, uh, a good amount of savings in the summer to offset the extra expense of the heat in the winter. We're super happy that we installed the Mr. Cool. In the video that follows this one, we're gonna do a year in review of both the heating and the cooling, all the costs together, all the variables that are involved in this, and things that you might wanna consider if you're if you're thinking about whether or not you should take the risk that we did and install a Mr. Cool in place of your existing system. Uh, we'll lay out all that granular detail for you and uh, you be the judge. Uh, hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. So be on the lookout for that video. It should come out a week after this, vi this video that you're watching here.